welcome to another vlog where we are learning to grow mentally physically and spiritually i love you girly so much i was i'm up it is 7 13 i got about like six but it takes me like time for me to like awake awake so um i'm heading to the gym um i had a conversation with my pastor a couple weeks ago and i was telling her how i had a list of all the things i wanted in a man and then she was like, okay, that's so good. You know what you want in a husband, but like, do you know who you want to be as a wife? And I was like flabbergasted. I was like, no, I have no idea. Like never thought about it. But if there's one thing I do know is that when I do get married, I don't want to be the sleepy wife. I don't want to be the tired wife. I don't want to be too exhausted to do things around the house. And that's like kind of been my story, especially like having PCOS, you're like tired all the time. So I'm like, what can I do to get my energy levels up? I should wake up first thing in the morning, go to the gym, look beautiful, and go do something that makes me feel good. And then I will have the energy to do what I have to do for the rest of my day. I don't want to be uh, exhausted, boring. I want to be, and also like the more you work out, the more you know what you can have, like you have more energy to, you know, in the bedroom. So I'm like, okay, so I just want to like make sure I'm prepared and prepping myself like... I don't think I ever thought of it in that way so I don't think I'm ready like even like another thing that I don't want to be like I don't want to be a messy wife like my house is messy and I don't want to be a messy wife I want to be like a cute clean wife like although I do hire cleaners I want my man to come home to like a nice home that's clean like that's what I would prefer so I'm like all right like Leslie it's time to make some changes like you're a beautiful person and you're perfect the way you are but you can improve, right? So this is where I'm at with that. So I got up, I got some smell good. I did some skincare. Um, I used some, I washed my face. I used some burst toner, period. And then I was saying actually to my TikTok, if you're not following me on there, it's Leslie D. Tuck, but I was saying how I have this vitamin C concentrate that I love so much. I'm still using it, it's in my skincare fridge, but I got another one. That's how much I love this stuff from Kales. And then I also am using like the Verse Gel Cleanser. I mean the the Verse Gel Cream Moisturizer. Gel Moisturizer, not cream, gel. Comes like this. It was like perfect for the winter. I'm really liking it. It's really good. So, yeah, your, your girl is ready for your girl's ready for the day. Your girl's ready for for her life to begin, okay? So, um, welcome to another vlog, guys. And if you guys enjoy vlogs, don't forget to subscribe and that notification bell so that we can see all my fire content. So, let's go to the gym. Let's go. Your girl is back from the gym. I'm sorry. When I have overhead lighting that's behind me, forget it. Like, you're not going to get the greatest lighting. But um, I'm back from the gym. I was back from the gym uh like seven hours ago i ended up going to a meeting and then i was on the phone and then i ended up working and then i'm still having showered so i don't know how that happened um but i did get a little muffin earlier and i'm gonna warm this bad boy up before i clean up because i did say i was gonna clean up wife life being a wife i don't got a pan really i don't have not one pan that's clean Oh my god, all my pans are dirty. How did I even how? I'm about to use this pot as a pan. Because like, same thing. Ugh, now every freaking pot and pan in my house is dirty. I cannot wait to do the dishes. Oh, I did have a bigger pot. I didn't know I had that. When I was cooking the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I wish I had another pot, and I do. So I'm going to take this butter and um, put it through the bottom of the pan because I like to grill my muffins. And then after I eat this little muffin, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to put my laundry away. Look, look how nice and crisp that is. Mm. So I'm going to enjoy this muffin. This is actually really bad for you. I wouldn't recommend eating a muffin. <laughs> it's just sugar 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 and i had someone who was like i'm eating a muffin every day because there's like no carbs and i'm like baby muffins are just carbs like it's just sugar <laughs> she was like what i was like 
I promise you like muffins are carbs like it's a baked good and she was like no it's healthy I said girl it's not healthy but okay go off like go do what you got to do there's no such thing as good or bad food but um, I'm gonna eat this muffin and then we're gonna clean up oh my god guys why I had to vlog on this camera that I haven't used in a million freaking years like I have seven batteries for my other camera it's right here so I have to move so so much further because of the lens on this but usually I vlog on my Sony ZV-1 which is this camera it's easier to use the autofocus is really nice you know it's just easier to use camera for great quality um, and then I use my phone and it's funny because I was just planning on using this camera for um, like up close videos like makeup videos things like that that will always stay on my vanity at all times this is my move around camera that would be my static camera but the reason why I haven't been using this camera is because the mic that I had I don't know where it is <clears throat> I think the person I loaned the camera to I gave them the mic to and they never gave me the mic back so I need a new mic for this camera like I don't know how great the audio is gonna be for this I mean the mic on my Sony I don't really need a mic for it like it works really good for audio this one I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't remember I do not remember so it don't matter anyway cuz I'm just gonna be cleaning anyway What's up everybody? I'm headed to my laser hair removal appointment. I have my long laser. I'm going to get my legs and my armpits lasered. I'm a little bit late, but um, I'm excited because it's been quite a while. I kept getting canceled on. Like if you saw my last vlog, I'm like, yo, every time I try to do anything, it snows, emergencies happen. I was not getting anything done. So I was supposed to do like a whole beauty week, but like it was impossible. So I am headed to the salon now. Let's go. Hey guys, so I made it back from Milan Laser. I didn't get no content there. I'm so sorry. The plan was to get content, but I did not get it. But I'm finally home and I went to my meeting and Sierra's here. Say hi. Hi guys. I had some content due and she had to help me out because I did a really cool creative thing. I'm going to show you guys. Can you want to show them? Yeah. Show them. Look at this, guys. It's like my... Oh, you can look at it. I'll, I'll do it like this so you can see. Beautiful. So it's like my stretch marks are glittered up. And I think it looks so pretty and cool. And we're about to take wow. pictures. Talk about body confidence. Guys. Yeah. So I'm so excited because we got some content done that was in a deck. And then we started doing like creative stuff because why not? But I think this is so cool. It's on my boobies too. It looks really good. I think it looks so cool. All right. So we're about to take pictures now. But sorry, guys. I couldn't. I could not. Let me tell you something though. I went to Milan Laser. And they have like this new like cooling thing where it blows cold air all the time and it did not hurt at all but i will say that that eyeliner did not come off my legs i was scrubbing my legs raw and sierra saw it and it was a problem all right i'll see you guys in a bit show me put your body on top of mine and hold me like you'll never let me go it feels like I've been giving you the Guys, I just don't want to take the sparkles off. I feel so empowered. I feel so empowering right now. Like, I don't know. You ever, like, do something and you're proud of it? Like, I'm so proud of this. And it is, I don't even know whose idea it was, but Sierra made sure that it got it done. So, I don't know what I would do without her. <laughs> there she is. Hi, guys. She, she, she did the, well, first of all, that was never the, the plan was. Can we talk about the plan? I said, hey, you're coming over for branding ideas, whatever. Can you write on my body? That, that's, that's what she can. She, it turned, it turned into 
photo photographer, videographer, uh-huh. social media marketer, like and so we, much fun. We have that to get an LLC so for our business. Fun. Like it, that's this, it. We're gonna make a business. And now in art, and then art. <laughs> then we decide. Like it, it became a project. This is not what I was supposed to be doing, but. I think it's just really, really cool. Wow, so, totally. yeah, I think it was a great idea. We're Thank you. Copyright the idea. Thank you for no. I think I'll show you the picture of where I got it. Yay. It's an inspo. So usually it's just the stomach though. Yeah. But yeah. So All cool. right, guys. I'm going to wipe this off. No. I know. I know. No. I don't want to either. I want to keep it there forever. I know. I wish it was. I wish I could get a tattoo like this. Like if I can get if there was such thing as glitter tattoo. No, I wouldn't be able to handle the pain. I can't even do regular tattoos. So. Mm. But like this is so cute. Yeah. yeah. This is this is definitely gonna be a thing. I would show you guys what I'm looking at, but like look at my desk. <laughs> Literally my desk. It's okay. We was doing glitter stuff. It's okay. I'm messing. And now they be seeing it worse. Imagine all the mess we're gonna have. With the I'm just so glad I did the dishes today. I did the dishes before we got here. <laughs> I cleaned up a little bit. Not it's my room. It was clean. it was clean in it here today, right? So good in here. No, it smelled like freaking seafood probably because that trash. You don't no, smell that? So what does it smell like in here to you? It smells like You know when you live somewhere laundry, you don't know? Laundry. That's what everyone always because I had laundry in the living room sitting there and I I put my own laundry away. All of it? Two two bags full of laundry by myself. Congratulations. That's huge. That's so huge for me. Well, I, my cleaners were like, hey, do you wanna blah blah blah? And I was like, I probably should just like let me just do it. Like I don't yeah. need them to do it all the time. So yeah, sorry, all that ominous music pro- probably be copyrighted now, but it's okay. Ugh. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys the vibe. We're done. And I'm about to go to Celebrate Recovery. If you guys don't know what Celebrate Recovery is, it's like AA. <laughs> it's not yeah, AA. It's very, it's more inclusive. It's a lot more like if you have like dependency issues, if you have an addiction to like pornography, which is not like there, there's sex. no places or sex or, or binging, eating. Or, yeah. It's like more of a bigger area. So anyone with any kind of like and we're celebrating you we, and we're including you we want to be inclusive see era is gonna be starting i'm gonna say that Friday. did i should i should let me cancel cancel i'm gonna cut that part out I, listen, because you know saying. sometimes when you put things out there people be hating uh, so you don't want to tell people like you could tell certain people but you don't want to tell everybody yeah. your plan so i'm gonna cut this out of the vlog uh-huh. like but Sarah oh, has something you, in the works yeah. that is no you know all around like church her and church stuff so i'm, I'm excited, excited. We're excited. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be great. So um, I'm going to get ready for that right now. I can't bring my camera into Celebrate Recovery. Right. Absolutely. But so, that's the point. That's all yeah, of it. You know? That's the whole point. So. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning, everybody. I forgot to end out last week's vlog. I realized last week's vlog, vlog wasn't much of anything. Um, I can't remember what I even did last week. Um, I'm wearing a face mask, obviously. I look crazy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look too bad but i look really scary like i look like i went through like surgery so right now i'm right in the middle of doing content for function of beauty i'm gonna like link that in the description box but i got this function of beauty bonder conditioner and it came with like these things they're uh they're like these things and you add your own concentrate of what you need inside of here and you mix it with a spatula. It was a really cool experience. It's like you're curating a hair care conditioner or shampoo that meets your needs of your hair. And I use the uh, the Frizz Genius and the Curl Executive. Um, I'm really super excited to see how my hair comes out. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten the moisture shot because... Guys, my hair, I had so much dandruff in my scalp, it wasn't even funny. So I plan on really over, like, I don't know, like, greasing my hair. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe just being a little bit more adamant about my hair. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I have a, another camera set up right here. Right here. But the real thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this face mask. Have you guys ever used a face mask that like has mud on it already and then you have to wash it off every face mask i've ever used has like a essence and then you like rub it into your skin after you don't have to like wash your face this one is like a sheet mask that like hardens onto your face and i really am enjoying the way it feels y'all like it feels so good oh my god i feel so 
freaking good so i can't wait to take this off to see like how i look but y'all eyebrows are so important <laughs> i look crazy um so i want to end off this vlog but i want to end off the vlog talking about something that's really important i want to talk about like as a creator knowing your worth i got a couple of campaigns sent to me last week and it's like the offers were not impressive it was very much like and i'm not saying that people like i should you shouldn't be excited for the opportunities that you get and stuff like that i'm not saying that what i'm saying is is that i've been doing what i do for quite some time and not everybody is capable of doing what i do or doing what you do like if there's something that you do in a particular field like you have the talent and the gifts that you have for a reason and the reason why someone needs to hire you or wants to hire you is because you have the gift that they're not able to do. So when I get like these really bad like offers, back in the day, I would have just taken them like, yeah, sure. And not really advocate for myself because you don't want to seem like you're being difficult. You don't want to seem like, oh, like you know, she's difficult to work with, but it's not really that. When you send someone multiple, multiple scripts and things and you want them to say certain things and then you want B-roll, you want all these things, it's like really, really extra. And for you to give someone such a low amount of money for the amount of effort that they have to put in for their content, like, I have to own the camera. I have to own the mic. I have to own the equipment. I have to own the lighting. I have to have all this stuff. So you have to pay someone who has all the things that you're looking for. You want a clean background. You want it to be professional looking. You want it to be vertical or horizontal. You have the ask. Pay people for those ask. So I want you guys to know your worth. And I'm talking mostly in your career. If you're not getting what you deserve ask for it or go find people who are willing to pay you i literally went up to them and i said look like i we need to renegotiate this because i want to work with you guys it's not that i don't want to work with you it's just that it's not fair for you to assume that this it's not fair the amount that you're offering like it's it's crazy put yourself in my shoes and say hey this person is a full-time creator they do all this work. They have other things that they do. What? And I'm going to be making money off ads off this. Like, what is a fair offer? So don't be afraid to miss out on opportunities that you know people are not treating you fair. And they know that they're not treating you fair. Um, or maybe they're just not educated. But always take what you're worth don't be afraid because more opportunities will come this will not be the last opportunity you get i'm not saying decline every single opportunity because it's not exactly what you want what i'm saying is is that if you know it's not feeling good with your soul why do it but i'm gonna go ahead and end up the vlog here i love you guys so much thank you i've been noticing that a lot of people have been watching my vlogs people have been watching my videos a lot more it's been amazing and i'm super thankful um if you are new here like don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this i do hauls i do talks like i really want to be a safe space for people in different body types or who are developing who they are so like i said i'm gonna end the vlog out here um i mean the rest of the week all i did was i went to church and then i rested so nothing really cool happened this week but um, I did go on another date. Maybe I'll do a little story time on my TikTok about that. So if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram, follow me there. Um, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next vlogs. Peace.